Welcome back everybody to the Zoo Stars Unemulated Retro Game Channel. I go by the name of Zeus and we have another edition of Shit Game Time. Yes, it's Friday, heading into the weekend. Whoopee fucking do, unless you're working at all, that's um, unfortunate. But never mind, what can you do, hey, what can you do? What have we got here then? Ah, uh, Knuckle Buster on the Commodore 64. This has been a paid request by YouTuber William Harrison, thanks very much for your request mate, I hope you're doing alright, and uh, wants me to slam this game, if you can call it that, into the vault of shitness. Um, I don't know what to make of this game at all, it seems like a complete mess, it's like it's trying to decide whether it's a fighting game, or a stealth game, or a pacifist game, because as far as I can make out, you just keep jumping over everything. I can't work out what you're supposed to do, I've looked at the forums, nobody really has much anything to praise to say about it, but it has a cracking tune by of course Rob Hubbard, but, uh, which I don't, um, I don't personally like, not the bloke, this tune, I know it's a good tune, but I don't like it, if that makes sense, it's like a, it's like you can appreciate there's a really good song out there, that has been well written, but you're not really into it, you know what I mean, it's like that, so, um, yeah, it's just, Oh dear, I, I don't know what to make of this game, but let's get on with it. No time like the present. I think this uh, sported something like a £7.95 price tag. Came out in 1986. And it's just a fucking mess. Um, but what does it say, anyway? I, I, the only thing with structures I could find was on the Spectrum site. Um, so let me just say what it says here. Uh, facing imprisonment and a lobotomy... <laughs> the bottom me to play this you decide to escape you are not going to end up as an android guard watching over other prisoners so you smashed up the central computer and started to run you must break out the prison through the six zones uh, cell block guard area prison wall the city downstairs uh, downtown precinct and the outer city wall but be warned there is only a single route through to the final zone so in other words, you need to fucking draw a map, otherwise you've got a clue. Uh, your sabotage to the computer will cause it to blow up and take the city with it, so you must escape as quickly as possible or die. There are five different types of android opposing you, all with different abilities. You can either avoid them or kill them. Blah, 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 blah. Um, there are objects hidden throughout the city. Yeah, that's another thing. I cannot work out. There, I've seen these boxes with question marks. I ain't got a clue how to bloody pick the things up. I've kicked them, I've punched them, I've jumped on top of them. Uh, I've pressed every key on the keyboard. I can't work it out. The only button that seems to work is the space bar, which allows you to enter other rooms. But anyway, let's get on. So this is it, look. So there's a question mark. I mean, how do I... And here we go. It takes forever to kill them. You best just run, and I can't work out if I can uh, oh, pick up uh, that um, question mark box. I don't know how to open them. There's another one. So I don't know. Oh, here we go again. It's just rubbish. Hey, oh, I picked one up. I don't know if that did anything. Did it? I don't know. But. Let's get up here. Nope. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand any of this color code business. I really don't. It's just you're running a hundred mile an hour, and it's as stupid as blokes not running any quicker or any slower than you. It's like um. It reminds me of Knuckle Joe. Remember that in the arcade? That was 100 mile an hour, but it made sense because there was a finite amount of enemies to kill. There was a finite amount of enemies to kill and you knew the game. There was levels, in other words. You, you, there was a, you could see where you were progressing, but this, I ain't got a bloody clue. I mean, 
I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Can't get through there. It's just ridiculous. And now another one's come into play. Oh, sod off. I don't know what to do in this. I really don't know what to do. No. Now on the blue again. Is that right? So I, I, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Oh, are you... It's just pointless. It's a pointless game. Utterly pointless game. I just don't know what to do. I mean, I know you've got to get out, but how? Again, I don't... Go away, bloody annoying thing, person. Again, I'm... I'm uh... just a stupid game. It really is pointless. I know some of you out there say, oh, I've completed it, I've done this. Yeah, whatever, but are you telling me you got satisfaction from this? Because I bloody well wouldn't have. <laughs> Everything's 200 mile an hour. It's bloody stupid. And now I'm back with a blue again. I don't know where I'm going. It's so frustrating. See, what does that mean? I'm just... I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing here. I, I think I'm just going back and forward. I, I really don't know... Oh, oh, <laughs> God, it's so annoying. Look at this. Give it grey. Um, wh where is grey? I mean, I don't know what the colours, what they stand for. Punch him a few times. There we go. And we got another bloody bloke behind me again. Oh, it's just so hard. <laughs> What's that? I don't even know what that was. Just points. Hits. Yes, I know I am hitting. But where do I go now? Go away. Just a stupid, pointless game, dressed up with good music. I mean, you probably could complete this game in about a minute if you knew what, what, what area, what doors to go through. Again with the grey. And with the blue. God, did anyone buy this crap back in the day? Really? I know he just follows me the same speed. I'm going nowhere quick. And now I'm back with blue again. I don't know what to do with it. I really have no idea about this game. Um, there's just so much missing. Jesus, that was fast. Back with a grey again. I mean, does it? What does a grey mean? Does it? Does, does that mean I'm in the downtown precinct? Am I outside the wall? Am I still in the prison? Uh, you know, all the rooms. 
Um, I've got cells, so I still must be in a prison. Something about if the colours change, you're in the right, you're on the right route. I don't mean shit. I really don't know what I'm doing here. Just go through another bloody door. See what happens. Ah, crying out loud. Ah, oh, bollocks! This is just bullshit. I've achieved fuck all. I've done nothing. I don't even feel like I've achieved anything in this. It's just, yeah, there are five types of... No, not on but You must break out the prison. Yeah, six zones. Blah, blah, blah. There's only a single route through to the final zone. Uh, I'm going to see, and I'll tell you what, I've got a fantastic um, website which have got mapped out and cheats and everything else for the uh, um, ZX Spectrum. So I'm going to see if I can judge by that where the hell I'm supposed to be going because there's very little information on the um, Commodore 64 version. And in fact, there's absolutely fuck all on the Spectrum site as well. Knuckle, there's nothing. And I know it came out on the Spectrum. Um, let's just look at... Um, tip shop, see what they got for it. Knuckle busters, there we go. Right. Infinite lives, yeah, I don't even toss about that. Uh, no, it's just infinite lives. Sometimes you get a map. I, this is just bollocks, William. I don't know what, what... Well, I know what the idea is, but how do you implement it? No, I'm in the grey area, so that's the prison, right? Right, blue. No, red. What does that mean? Oh, it's just too fast. Again, it's just the music um, saving it, really. Blue again. Oh, this is awful. There's another box up there, look. Go away, go away. I'm going to try and open up that question mark and see what that's about. Come on, there we go. Oh. They come at you at six zillion miles an hour. Right, what's that? I got an. Oh, what's this? Is that power? Go away. Oh, I nearly got up there then. Come on, die. God, they take forever to die, don't they? No, go away. This is ridiculous. I can't bloody get anywhere in this game. Oh, Christ's sake, it's ridiculous. I just give up on this damn game. It's um, it's an utterly pointless game, uh, William. I just can't seem to get anywhere in it. It means jack shit. It can't do... I can't work out where I'm going. The enemies, the collision detection is shite. The only thing going for it is the tune. And um, I have to admit, it's got very smooth scrolling. Apart from that, the price tag is bullshit as well. There's no information on it. And look at this. It, it just... It just feels like, is it a fighting game or a bloody stealth game? I'm not even going to acknowledge you, mate. I just want to punch this box. Um, no, it's not. Um, no, I'm not very impressed with this at all. It's. Um, I would be furious if I bought this back in the day. There's no enjoyment here. I mean, where am I going? Where am I going? I don't know. Again, enemies coming at you 100 mile an hour. You can't get work out exactly where you're going. The best thing is just to play it like a pacifist and avoid not even hitting them. Um, it's just back and forth. It's rubbish. It's just it's garbage. Uh, no, I've had enough of this. It's, I, I'm not even going to acknowledge it anymore, Ray um, William. You're um, you're right about this. It, I know there's a few of you that can complete it for some reason, but seriously, you think this is a good game? Um, I don't. I don't think there's anything appeasing about it at all. To me, it's one of the most pointless games I've ever played. You're just running around, 
in a kind of knuckle joe fashion but at least for knuckle joe um you know you had a finite amount of um enemies to kill you knew where you was you knew where you were proceeding in other words eventually you knew you were going to get to another level but this you're just running around like a lost soul it's just absolutely pointless and i can't even be bothered to play anymore it's fucking absolute stupid um you know it, it beckons the question that um and i can say what i'm about to say because i am a commodore 64 owner and i've owned my 60c 64c since 1988 so um and i've got my collection certain collection of games and and i love a lot of soundtracks on it so i can say this without any bias but it it brings up the question that were there really that many good 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 games on the commodore 64 or were they just average mediocre games dressed up with bloody good music that's the question i'm putting out there do we remember these games say oh that was a fantastic it was brilliant and you load them up again and no they're not a lot of them are in fact a lot of them are, are shit but they've got great music uh, for example target renegade I like Target Renegade on, on, on the Commodore 64, um, but majority of people say it plays like a pig. It's not very good. The collision texture uh, is terrible. There's no two-player mode, but the soundtrack is fucking awesome in it. Rambo First Blood Part 2, a fantastic soundtrack with a great um, ocean loader as well. But the game, I could complete it in under three minutes. And I mean that because it's on my channel in Let's Long Play. Two minutes, 59 seconds. There's so many games out there that have great soundtracks, but the game's crap, and we are, are we expected to remember them in a way that, you no, know, they were brilliant games. No, they're not. They're crap, but they're dressed up with bloody good music, so we're fooled. Our memory and nostalgia memory is is going into overdrive, and you, you look at games and think, no, they were the day. Comic Bakery, that's a crap game, but it's got a great tune. I don't know, it's something about the, you know, it's, it's the question out there the Commodore 64 in. I'm very interested to hear what you say. And as I said, I am one. So I'm putting the question out there. Were there, yes, there were some good games, but were there really that many? Or were they just dressed up with good music? But this game, mate, yeah, it's crap. It's pointless. I personally don't like the tune. I know it's a good tune, but I'm not going to knock it. Rob Hubbard. Uh, Rob Hubbard, he, um, can you save this game with this? No. Scrolling is very smooth. Utterly pointless game. I don't know what I'm bloody doing in it. And it's boring. It's a bore fest. Pointless. So, um, with that in mind, I'm going to give this an absolutely wasteful... 81 shits. And that's only because of the tune. Uh, that's, you know, saving it somewhat. But it's not saving the game at all. It's crap. The game's crap. It's boring. Pointless and boring. Um, if you like games like this, stick to Knuckle Joe, but this game's confusing itself. Is it a stealth game? Is it a run and beat em up game? Is it a runaway pacifist who won a scaredy cat game? I don't know, but you're like a rat in a maze, a blind maze, a blind rat in a dark maze. You don't know where you're going. I don't anyway. Um, one of the most pointless games I've ever played, William, so thank you very much for uh, nominating that for Shit Game Time, and it has gone down to the vault of shitness forever as i've said i've looked on the uh lemon site of um commodore 64 for any good reviews you get the old one or two saying no oh, i quite enjoyed it well i'm sorry you obviously didn't have very many good games back in the day then did you because this was fucking crap if any if i spent this money out of my paper boy money or pocket money or whatever and i got this i'd be utterly devastated as a kid it's crap so um who poo grammed this anyway i forgot to to do that ah matt sneep yes matt sneep and of course the musician was rob hubbard so matt sneep stand up mate you have made an edition of shit game time and i hope you do tune into this some way one or another and please explain to us what happened here because this game is shite it's rubbish even rob couldn't save it crap so there you go 81 shits on the shitometer for knuckle busters on the commodore 64 yuck all right, that's it for me this edition of Shit Game Time until next Friday. If you would like to nominate a game for Shit Game Time, a game that you hate and you want me to banish it in the vault of shitness and bring out the poo grammars and the poo blishers and roast their bores across an open fire because of their awful uh, programming skills to sell you a shit game, 
then please do so. The video pop up will pop up any second now. You can go to that link, listen carefully what I can do, uh, what formats I can do, uh, but I don't do um, adventure or role playing kind of uh, games like Zelda and stuff like that. It's got to be platform action games and stuff like this, you know, stuff I can get my head around pretty easily. But um, the reason is adventure games, um, RNG games, um, role playing games, things like that, they take too long. And uh, shit game times can vary between a quarter of an hour and a half hour. So we don't want to go no longer than that. But anyway, go to that video and nominate a game, your choice, and uh, I'll do my best to flush it away into a huge area, a huge underground poo system of shite. And it will go there forever. You'll never see it again. And also, before I, look, before I leave, is you'll also notice a couple of two or three more shit game time videos to view if you want. There's 160 plus at this moment in time. Plenty of them to uh, get your teeth into and see what you think of them. As far as the games that I've so far put in the vault of shitness. And there's a lot of them. 162 so far, I believe. Alright, that's it for me, this edition of Shit Game Time. Thanks again for joining me. Zeus, out of Plopsville.